What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Chasing with Critical Smash and I got a bunch of new games, bunch of new pickups from all over the place. We're talking thrift stores. We got the savers. I got NES games. I got Super Nintendo games and a couple other neat things and surprises to share with you guys. So I will start off with which one? Which one? Boom. We're going to do Rygar. Rygar. I had to pick this up for the NES. Absolutely huge find for me. Uh, yeah, it's not rare, it's pretty common, um, but I used to play this a lot in the arcade back, I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club, pick this one up, and uh, it's an awesome side-scrolling game, very fun, not super hard, especially on the NES, and uh, yeah, just a really cool game, um, a lot of fun to pick up and play, anytime, love Rygar, that game's awesome. Rad Racer, I own the second one of this, and I finally picked up the first one, been meaning to get this one for a while. Um, picked these up from our local mom and pop store and uh, just picked up a whole bunch of titles that to uh, fill in some gaps So yeah, Rad Racer is an awesome racing game uh, Very fun. Some would consider it to be one of the best racing games on the NES um, After playing it just for like a short while uh, and playing it prior to owning it. I would agree. It's a great game It's a lot of fun. This game's really cool. It's like isometric top-down um, It's it conveys speed really well uh, it's got good music. Um, this game's cool. I like it a lot. Tennis! Oh yeah, your common tennis game. It's tennis. There's, there's nothing to say about this. It's You hit it back and forth, you serve, and you get the most points, and you get the big win. That's it. It's tennis. Real simple. Rad Racer 2! Why is that in there? That shouldn't be in there, but it is, because... I did get this one. I actually got this one before the second one, before the first one. Um, very similar to the first game, just some different music. Still really fun. Um, awesome racing game. Rad Racer series on the NES. Some of the best racing games if you are into those. 10 Yard Fight. Your most basic football game that's not going to be your... Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? I'm forgetting the football game for the NES that everybody loves that I am forgetting. Oh my gosh. I didn't play a lot of sports games on the NES, but 10 Yard Fight is not the best one of them for sure. Uh, Tecmo Bowl. That's the one. Tecmo Bowl. Uh, I played a lot more of that. This one is really basic. Um, you just run the ball up the field and there's a couple different team options and like plays and it's, it's pretty basic. One of your basic black box games. Just getting these all out of the way. Golf, it's golf. You can play this on your Nintendo Switch right now uh, if you just want a quick pick up and play golf experience. Um, it's all right. It's not bad. It's it's golf. What can you say? Akari Warriors 2 Victory Road. Oh, these are now we're getting into some fun stuff. Uh, SNK did a lot of really cool uh, top down shooter type games. Um, this one's fantastic. Uh, I, I enjoy this one a lot. I've been trying to get all the SNK games on the NES. Um, just a really fun pick up and play uh, type game. I, I think this game's two player. There's, there's two people on the front there. I haven't tried this one multiplayer yet, but I need to. I'll put it aside. Side pocket for more common games to pick up and throw in the NES. Uh, it's your standard pool game. There's a big pool table. You shoot balls in the holes. There are a couple different modes for pool that you can play. Like you can play like side pocket. You can play eight ball. Um, it's cool. It's it's pretty simple. But uh, if you're into pool, this this is a great game. I had fun with it. Vegas Dream. For those that play Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo, this is like its baby cousin more or less. Uh, you got some different casinos you go to. It plays out just like it, and it's made by Hal, who also made Vegas Stakes. So there you go. Very similar. It's kind of like the mother equivalent to Earthbound. We got this one first, and uh, it's cool. If you like Vegas Stakes or gambling games or Vegas, um, you can give it a shot. It's fun because gambling games on the NES are all pretty enjoyable for the most part. Lee Trevito's Fighting Golf. Yeah, there's nothing fighting involved with this one. It, it's golf. It's uh, It's got some all right music. It's better than Black Label NES Golf. Um, it's an SNK golf game and it, it's all right. It's, it's not amazing, it's okay. Skater Die! If you played California games for the NES, you'd probably like this one. This is just all skating. You go into the shop, you can get upgrades, you can go to different tracks, you can go to practice. 
and you skate around. And if you're a big skater, which a lot of people were in the 90s for sure, late 80s, 90s, um, this game is cool. I had fun with that, played that a bit. Cycross. Uh, I picked this one up because I had no idea what it was at the time. Um, it is basically a scrolling left to right, like racing battle type game, I guess you would call it. Um, yeah, it's uh, you go left to right and you're trying to knock out the other players, kind of like Excite Bike. And uh, it was cool. It's fun. It was a uh, really just quick, easy pick up and play. Um, it's kind of what it is. I can't really see a lot of people playing this long term unless this is all you had. Then you had to get really good at it because um, it's kind of like a marathon, seeing how far right you can get before you die. There you go. Mario Brothers. Yes. I have been meaning to pick this one up forever. Um, I played a ton of this on lots and lots of different versions. And I'm happy to say I finally own the NES cart for it. Um, it's, it's, it's really fun. It's a platformer game where you destroy enemies that are coming in and out of pipes. And you can hit pow blocks and knock them over and you kick them over and you collect coins. And it's, uh, it's a score based game. And it is two player, you can play as Mario or Luigi. Um, also great, just pick up and type, play type game. Uh, Mario Brothers, this game's cool, I love it. Rampage, yes. All right, so a lot of people do remember playing this for the NES, uh, especially in the arcade is probably where it was most popularized. Uh, played a lot of it on there. Um, so happy to finally have it on the NES. I've definitely played this version many times, so it's nice to own the card of it finally. Um, it's cool. You go around and you destroy buildings as one of three creatures, uh, which are very popular if anyone saw the movie, because, you know, that was a huge hit and got everyone familiar with it, right? Yep. Rampage. No, this this is where it's at. Much better than the movie, for sure. But not better than the arcade version. Captain Skyhawk. Milton Bradley flying game. Yes. Um, it's all right. It's, uh, there's a lot of flying type shooting games on the NES. Uh, this is one of them. It's pretty basic, didn't play it for that long. Um, but if you're into games where you're in a plane and you like to shoot stuff, it's, I can't really, com I can't really make it sound super great. It's not that, it's not that great. <laughs> we got Clue Clue Land. This is a great fun game, black box. Um, pretty unique. You go around inside a puzzle based grid trying to complete a picture that's basically like a puzzle, you can't see what the picture is you're trying to complete, and you're defeating enemies on the way by paralyzing and knocking them out, and then completing the picture to get to the next level. So, it's a cool game, Clue Clue Land. NES Black Box game, I love it. Star Voyager, uh, we got a couple of claim games on here that uh, are pretty basic. Um, if you wanted like your, uh, what, like plane simulation type games star voyager is one of them you're basically first person in the cockpit going around shooting other planes and stuff um it's okay i don't really know anyone that's been into these kind of games um i know they're pretty popularized on the atari and that continues on the nes stealth atf by activision uh, this one is also kind of similar except it's uh it's not like in space or at least I didn't get that far. Um, you're just going around in the sky and shooting enemies out of the sky. Uh, kind of similar to Star Voyager in some ways. It's another cockpit type based shooting game. So, Taito's Operation Wolf. I used to see hear this one all the times in the arcades, blasting that title screen music. Um, basically, you're going down to up, you're shooting any enemies in your path, and uh, it's Operation Wolf. This game's pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy it a lot, and uh, we'll definitely be playing more of this. Hogan's Alley. We have a sweet NES Zapper game. Um, if you like Duck Hunt, or if you played any other Zapper games on here, uh, like Wild Gunman, Hogan's Alley. Cool game. You go around, you shoot the mobsters. You gotta get them all. You gotta get the high points, and don't miss. Kind of like Duck Hunt, you know. Nintendo came out with a couple games like that. Jaws, I got this for free. Um, our local game store had a free game day and one of the bags I picked was NES and I got Jaws. And I actually played this a lot longer than I thought I would. This game's actually like really fun. You have to go around and basically power yourself up so that you can fight Jaws. And you go around and you basically destroy sea wildlife 
so you can power up your boat and your ink your uh your spear so that you can take out jaws um it's cool there's a couple different like level type strategy to it and uh it's fun i like it that's a cool game acclaims destination earth star uh this is like this is just like what i say stealth atf yeah this is just like star voyager uh because they made that game too uh almost no difference um if you like cockpit based shooting games there you go there's a lot of them on there gyromite i do own a rob uh which i have not played with for a long time so i was like you know what i saw a gyromite and i was like i need to pick this up so I can just play with it and just enjoy it for what it is. Um, it's Gyromite. It's cool. Rob goes around. He picks up he picks up the little plastic discs and he moves them around. And uh, Doctor Hector here is uh, helping you out, and you got to help him out basically traverse through like a lab uh, to beat levels. And Rob helps you do that. Really innovative at the time. Pretty neat. Um, I enjoy it. It's cool. City Connection. This just came out recently for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, NES classics uh, for their online on there and uh, City Connection this is a uh, how do you describe this, this is kind of like mappy or uh, yeah mappy it's like basically you're on like a one screen that scrolls side to side type grid where you are in a car and you're going around shooting police and obstacles out of your way um, so that you can clear the level um, it's cool it has some strategy and some depth to it and uh, it's neat to see it. And you can play that right now on the Nintendo Switch. Adventure Island 2. I love I love the Adventure Island series. These are really fun platforming games as you play as the Master Higgins who goes around on these fancy islands skateboarding and throwing bones and skateboarding around, uh, defeating dinosaurs and bosses and whatnot. Cool music, Hudson Soft, anything with the Hudson Soft B, Hudson Soft, made amazing NES games, very fun platformer. And then we got Karnov, another side-scrolling platforming game uh, where you're basically big circus muscle man and you're going around and you're fighting everything uh, on the screen here. Um, it's like aliens and robots and dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff from Data East. Um, it's a platformer. Uh, it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds you of Rygar in some ways, um, but you don't have like a flail. Uh, it's a platform game. It's cool. I'd recommend it. Then I got a Game Boy Color Case found this out thrift shopping just uh don't really have any for the game boy color um i've got some for game boy advance and i've got some smaller like soft cases and i saw this one i was like it's in the shape of a game boy color that's cool and the one that i grew up with and used was a purple one so to have this with like a strap on it and it's in pretty decent condition it's neat if not for a display piece but something to put the game boy or game boy color and some games in that's kind of cool so that's a neat find then you got your clear NES cases back from the old rental days. If you rented NES games, you probably got them in these. Um, and I got like a few of these that came with some stuff and NES games. And it's just cool. It's nostalgic to see. I don't know if I'll put any of mine back in those, but maybe. We'll see. Moving to Super Nintendo, I got a couple to share here. Uh, we got Mickey Mouse here for the first one. This is uh, Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Um, awesome, very lively, colorful platforming games from Disney and Capcom uh, where you're moving left to right, you're jumping on enemies. Uh, for this one, Mickey Mouse does get like different suits that he can use in each level uh, to defeat enemies and clear obstacles to get to the end of the game. Um, not super challenging. Uh, it can be if you've never played before. Uh, requires a little bit of patience for that, but that's Magical Quest. And then we have, on the same note, Capcom's Mickey Mouse Circus Mystery, or the Great Circus Mystery, I believe. Yes, great. Starring Mickey and Minnie, multiplayer platform game uh, on the same vein of Magical Quest. And uh, yeah, it's another fantastic Disney Capcom platform, and you cannot go wrong with those. And then Thrift Store Finds, we've got Michael Jackson The Experience. Ow! Oh yeah, the King of Pop. He's going to dance and dance and dance all over your Wii. Get that motion control out because you'll be doing a lot of that. You like Just Dance? Well, Ubisoft's got you. It even comes with a magical special glove. But not this one because it was at the thrift store and there's no way that a special insert of collectible would be in there. Oh. Well, the game's in there. We got the manual. Uh, I'll definitely check that out. I do enjoy Michael Jackson, so that's neat. 
Cookie Mama Cook-Off. I've honestly really never put a lot of time into the Cookie Mama series, um, but I enjoy the games for what I have played, and I enjoy cooking, even though I don't do it a lot, but I enjoy watching videos and learning about it. Um, so Cookie Mama for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, I don't, if you know anything about this game, uh, let me know. I got lucky here, I'll just have the manuals with them with the game. Wii Music. Uh, my wife and I kind of make fun of this one because she ended up renting it. And I'll never forget the E3 when they showed this one off. Uh, it was kind of hilarious and I never picked it up new and I was like, I know I'll find it used eventually at a thrift store. So here we go. Kind of a cool front cover there. And you get your Wiimotes out and create beautiful music. And then I got the receipt there for the, uh, the thrift games I picked up. It's got the manual and the disc. Cool. And then one of the cooler thrift finds was Animal Crossing City Folk. Um, I own every other Animal Crossing game, but I did not own this one physically um, as I borrowed it playing it growing up or when I was younger at the time of launch. And it came with everything, so that's cool. It even came with all the extra inserts for that. So that's great. If you like Animal Crossing Wild World, um, this is a phenomenal sim type game where you play as a human character going around and creating a beautiful town and this one includes a city so it's got like extra features that the ds version did not and then a couple things last but not least we have some sweet display items we have these cool nintendo basically game displays where you would put the games in and as the games are taken out it lets you know when it's empty there because there's nothing left and it says Nintendo on the front and on the side there. And it's just something you can put games in. This is what they used in some of the stores. Uh, I don't know which ones specifically. Um, probably like Targets and Walmarts are probably in the, like, the big glass cases. And these are in there. And this is just what they kept the games in with. And it expands too. So you can put different size games in there. And I got a couple of those. So that's kind of cool. And then last but not least, we just had E3 2019 in downtown Los Angeles. And I was not able to make it, unfortunately. I really wish I could have. I love E3. I have been once in 2005. Um, I did buy online the current E3 lanyard uh, with Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon X and Y, the Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey, and then Link's Awakening on there. I'm super excited for every game on here. Um, I really want to play all these really, really bad. I'm going to put a ton of hours into Pokemon X and Y and then with Link's Awakening um, it was the first Zelda game I ever beat so I'm very excited to jump back into that uh, phenomenal Zelda game and Luigi's Mansion 3 looks amazing uh, the footage they showed there this year was super super cool uh, with the multiplayer with Luigi and uh, multiplayer with more than four people and uh, they're doing a lot of cool stuff Nintendo's got a lot of great stuff coming out for the Switch so yeah, that's it guys. Um, thank you for checking out this video. If you like to see these pickups and want to see more, uh, shoot a like down below. Just smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about anything you saw here or want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to tell you guys. All right, until next time, take care. Peace.